Hello, my name is Giorgio Gasparini. In this video we are going to see how to create a chargeback model. The value of the chargeback solution is the ability to easily define and process usage detail records for billing purposes, to divide the IT costs between the tenants, departments and services of a company or different companies. In particular, in this section, we're going to discuss how to create a chargeback hierarchy. The chargeback hierarchy value is the ability to specify tenants and departments you want to address costs to. This is a typical CO domain tree of a uh, hierarchy used for a chargeback. So you have a, a company named Business Services, you have an e-commerce site uh, which is running on a database and two application servers and an order management and building which is running on a database and another application server. So you have this chargeback scenario. Two business units are using these services. One is food and the other is personal computers. Both units are using the e-commerce site but only one is using the order man management and building. So we want to charge each business unit based on this model. The CPU and storage utilization uh, uh, for each VM and the DB based on storage utilization plus an allocation based rate. So in the hierarchies tab you can create your target hierarchy based on the structure of the domain tree. And the hierarchy needs to be based on a service tree, not the import of a VM where ETL, a service tree. It's fundamental that the hierarchy relationships data are coherent because billing is done over time, in resources utilization over time. To create a chargeback hierarchy, add a hierarchy and then edit it to synchronize it with the domain tree. The synchronized wizard appears, choose the root node in the workspace, set the level for the domain that is 2, which is the level before the level that contains the objects. Complete the wizard and you will get a fully populated chargeback hierarchy. Let's add the chargeback hierarchy together. Add Let's edit it. Let's synchronize the hierarchy with the domain tree. The wizard appears. Select the base domain. As you can see, there are several business units and each one contains services. And services contain machines. The level is two. and we add them. Save it. We have a hierarchy fully defined and synchronized properly. And this concludes part one of how to create a chargeback model video. Please proceed to part two.